Hey everybody, Mike Klingensmith, All Seasons RV. Today I'm going to give you a, a walk around on the 2021 Flagstaff E-Pro 20 FBS. This is a front bed, one slide out, about 21 foot, 2 inches, tongue to bumper. Uh, also weighs about 3,400 pounds, give or take, depending on the options we order this in at. Uh, so basically any mid-size SUV, smaller truck like a Colorado, and or you know a half ton truck absolutely can easily tow this thing around. Um, so a little bit about the E-Pro. It is all aluminum caged construction with laminated fiberglass. And then in between that fiberglass, they use Asdel versus Luon. Asdel is a made man product uh, made in the USA. It, uh, it's a lot lighter than Luon. It really helps with the heat and the cold exchange. Also, it's uh, resistant to water as well. So a really cool uh, product in between those sidewalls of the fiberglass and what they actually hear that fiberglass to. Um, so right up front has the power tongue jack, really easy to put on and off your vehicle. Um, also, something newer they're doing this, this year is putting this handy dandy little thing here for your uh, chain hooks and also your seven way plug. So you can keep that up off the ground and you don't have to worry about where that's uh, gonna be hanging down. This will come with two 20 pound propane tanks and two six volt batteries. So what's really cool about the E-Pros is this is really geared towards the off the grid or boondocking, somewhere where you're really not gonna be plugged in on the side. Or if you are gonna be at a camp run, obviously you can hook up on the side. So, and, and going throughout this product, I'll, I'll show you and go over reasons why this is really geared to that uh, off the grid and really kind of all 12 volt systems inside. Um, so again, up front, you have the molded fiberglass front cap with the automotive windshield on here. Um, this is a really nice viewing window while you're inside, and I'll show you that as well when we go in. Awesome docking light up front, so late at night, early in the morning, hitching up or detaching. Um, it's really easy to do so, and it'll really illuminate everything. Uh, we'll have four stabilizer jacks already mounted to the frame on all four corners. Take a drill, zap them up and down. It's the easiest way to take care of uh, uh, putting down your jacks, and really takes the shake and shimmy out of it. You have a full pass-through storage here. And this model will come with an outside griddle and outside prep table. Here's the prep table that goes on the side of the unit. Um, and again, full pass-through. And they also put an LED light in there so you can really see what you're doing, again, late at night, early in the morning. It does have your storage compartment doors held up by magnets, not little clips uh, that you forget about and rip them off the side of the coach. So this has a 190 watt solar panel already on the roof. So again, when you're not plugged in off the grid, it'll help keep those batteries charged. Again, off the grid kind of driven. And then if you wanted more solar panel to it, other than the 190 watt, you can actually hook up more solar panel uh, portably right there and actually put it in the sun. Say you're camping somewhere under a tree, that panel's really not doing it. Hook up additional solar panels right there. Um, this does have the keyless entry. So again, you forget your keys or don't want to carry around your keys, you can uh, you know, set the code and easily unlock it right there. All frameless tinted windows on here as well. Really nice about frameless windows, it's less likely to really bleed black streaks. And also the seals are inside, not outside that you have to worry about there. Uh, you do have the sturdy stairs here. They are adjustable, both legs, push those buttons in. These can adjust, so depending on the lot that you're at. And then while uh, traveling, these just pull right into the door, they lock in place, and when you shut the door, it actually really locks those stairs in place so they're not jiggling and wiggling. Um, oversized grab handle, get in and out, really easy to, uh, you know, again, get in and out. New feature again this year is the off-road tires, so the off-road package, it's a standard now, so they have these really meaty off-road tires, and then they actually put a lift on here as well. It's uh, roughly about a four inch lift up off the ground. So if you're going off the beaten path, this is definitely the camper for you. Uh, this is exactly where that outside griddle and outside prep table would hang. And there is a quick connect propane line right underneath that you can hook that uh, griddle to. And that's fed right off the 20 pound propane tanks right up front. Then they do put a nice 110 outlet outside. So if you wanted to uh, have a TV out here or even electric grill or griddle or skillet or what have you, you can actually plug it in or a crock pot's a great, great place to plug that in at. Uh, this little back storage compartment, it's a little smaller, but nice little hidden features right behind this panel right here is a built in water purifier system already right there in it for you. Uh, full power awning with a LED strip lighting underneath of it. 
So it's a push button awning, hold it down, comes out eight feet, and it is adjustable for sunshade on uh, either ends of the arms. Come around the back. So this is where all your uh, kind of water hookup, cable satellite hookup is. And what's really nice about the Flagstaffs is they put this little antifreeze inlet right here. This is really simple and easy to winterize your coach. Garden hose in here, the other end in uh, the antifreeze. All you have to do is bypass your hot water here because you don't want antifreeze in there. Go inside, go faucet to faucet. Uh, after you turn on your water pump and then wait until it goes pink for the color of the antifreeze and, and you're winterized. It's that easy. It does have an outside shower, hot and cold, with a spray nozzle. So if you get a little muddy or sandy, you can at least rinse off before you go inside. It does have a ladder to the roof. And what's really cool about this, you can pull these pins and actually remove this ladder off the coach. And if the slide, slide out was in, I'd show you, but you can actually take that ladder, hook it to the side mounts up top on the roof. And there's a pro rock, a pro rack mounting bars up there already. It's a great shot out. Uh, that you could put bikes, kayaks, canoes, you name it. You can actually attach it up on the roof, secure it down. After you're done with that, take the ladder off, put it back on the back, lock it down, and uh, off you go. This will come with the 30 amp, 25 foot power cord. It will come with that. Here's your dump for your black and your gray. Uh, easy, accessible right there for you. And then a lot of people notice that this doesn't have back bumper, typically where a sewer hose or your stinky slinky would store. So what they did, they put a little PVC tube right below, this flips open. That's where your stinky slinky or uh, sewer hose will store while traveling. Um, six gallon gas electric, quick recovery hot water heater right here. Um, it is a DSI direct spark ignition, so you can light the pilot from inside. You don't have to go outside and actually light it uh, in a downpour. Let's jump inside, check out the interior of this. Like I said, it's a one slide out, queen bed up front. Um, with this queen bed, again, you have that window up front, storage on both ends, big wardrobe, hanging area on both sides. Let's see if you can kind of get this. There you go. And you do have your 110 outlets and USB charger ports on both sides of the bed. Nice roller glide uh, darkening shades here for inside. And under the bed, this is what I was going to get to earlier uh, before I got sidetracked, is your storage drawers that pull all the way out. There's no dead space, and you can see it's actual real wood. It's not that uh, fake OSB and or uh, Luan that some uh, companies cheap out on. This does have the One Control app on it as well, or RV Control. So basically, you can scan your phone to this right here, this QR code. You can pair your phone to this camper. You can control the lights, the awning, and the slide out all from your phone versus a control panel. Again, this is where you uh, light your hot water heater, gas, electric, and or both. Water pump, your lights for inside, outside, your step light, awning light, porch light. And then there's a monitoring control right here where you can see the life of the battery, the fresh tank, black tank, gray tank. Um, so you can actually monitor what's going on there. Um, AC unit, 13,500 BTU low profile AC. So that's gonna trim off about six inches on the overall height of this unit. Um, three seat sofa, and this will make into a bed. You lift up, lace flat, right behind it is a table that can, uh, it's a freestanding table you can put right on top. That could be your eating area, or what's really nice with that freestanding table, you can actually take it outside, put it on your awning, and now you have a table outside. Not You don't have to carry any additional uh, tables with you. You do have the cup holders on both ends and above overhead storage for whatever you want to put up there. Uh, 20,000 BTU, uh, 20, BTU furnace. Uh, it's all propane driven. So again, more on that off the grid uh, living lifestyle. So this is the only thing I'll say about off the grid. When you are off the grid like that um, and you're not plugged in on the side, the only two things that won't work are your AC and your microwave right here, <laughs> um, they just draw too much amperage. It's not gonna work, but everything else will work. Even your TV, this is a 12 volt TV right here. So having those two six volt batteries out front plus that 190 watt solar panel, I mean, you could be out for a very long time and not have to worry about uh, plugging in on the side. We have a huge stainless steel sink here in the kitchen, all seamless countertops. You don't gotta worry about tea molding popping off or crumbs or wine or whatnot getting in the cracks. And again, that's, it's very hard to, um, you know, keep clean if you do have tea molding. Don't have to worry about that. It doesn't have it. Three burner cooktop stove with, with the uh, recessed glass over top of it. 
Gives you more counter space when you're not actually cooking. Uh, you have a place for sponges right here. A nice little drawer down below, silverware uh, dish. And then you do have a bit of storage under the cooktop and, it, and even more under there. Great for pots and pans right there. And then your refrigerator, I always get comments on that. This being a 19 foot uh, box, typically you have a small little fridge and a little ice box, right? This thing has a massive 12 volt refrigerator, huge fridge, huge freezer, uh, very uncommon to find in a smaller unit like this. Um, again, uh, being more off the grid, all LED lights inside and out. And then another cool feature is in here in the bathroom. I love talking about this. This has what's called a water miser right there. So now it's blue, right? So if you're off the grid, one thing you really have to be conscious of is your tanks overfilling, especially your gray tank. What's going to fill up your gray tank is any water runoff in your sink and or shower. So if you turn your shower on, you have all that wasted cold water going straight into your gray tank. What you can do, you can actually turn this water miser on. When the water gets warm and or hot, this blue turns to white because it recycles the water. It's not coming out of your faucet. So once that turns white, you can actually turn it on. Then the water is going to come out, which then is filling up your gray tank. So you're saving all that water from going into your gray tank if you're off the grid and you can't readily dump anywhere. Foot flush toilet, pretty common there. Stainless steel sink here in the bathroom, not a plastic uh, sink, easy to keep clean. Uh, you do have a vanity right here. Um, vanity mirror for toothbrushes, soap, you name it. Additional storage um, for towels, linen, even clothes if you wanted to. Uh, nice little uh, addition is this little like towel hook. Again, little things. It's the little things. And then under the sink, additional storage. That's great for toilet paper right there. Up top, you do have a huge max air fan. Uh, really ventilate the steam and or smells out of here really quick, really fast. And then in the shower as well, you do have the... Uh, uh, skylight to bring in that natural daylight if you didn't want to kick on the lights. Um, that's the EPRO 20 FBR, uh, FBS. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call. Again, my name is Mike. Telephone number is 330-564-0222. Feel free to visit our website, asrvs.com. Check us out on Facebook, YouTube. Thanks for watching. Happy camping.